Welcome to Canada, Ali. Thank you so much. Thanks. It's been great being here. Thank you for all the warmth that you're showing us. I grew up in a community where if a child went to school, it was a luxury. So education was not considered a parent's or the state's responsibility. It was considered, you know, an investment. For boys, it was easy, but for girls, it was hardly ever the case. There was a clinic, but accessing this clinic, going there and having the money to pay for the medications and all those, and the clinic, does it have the equipment to even, you know, provide healthcare to people the way it should be? It was not the best place to grow up in, but, you know, some of the work that Plan International did in the community and continue to do, you know, trying to pull it up to a level that children can leave safely, not just leave, but have education, have healthcare. Before I even graduated, I, I had already started looking for schools overseas that I wanted to study at because my goal was I want to get a master's in journalism, probably go work as a journalist. Why is it so important for planned supporters to communicate with the sponsored child? Knowing that in addition to your parents, there is somebody out there oceans and thousands of miles away that cares about you, that loves you, that encourages you to work hard in school, that motivates you to think, to work hard, to push forward and become somebody. I don't think there's a way I could ever forget that I read these letters and how they motivated and encouraged me to be who and where I am today. What happened when you graduated, if you will, from being a sponsored child? You reach a certain age and it's done. While I had graduated, I moved on with those memories. I carried them with me. I used those memories, the experiences, the skills, you know, to build the next chapter of my life. But then give the opportunity for that person to take on another child and care about them and open that door that they open for you to pass through. Let other children pass through that door. Change, whatever that means, but change for the better. Bring them more access to education, bring them more access to healthcare. You know, bring equality what I hope to do more, regardless of what it takes and regardless of what it means, is give back to the community as much as I can, regardless of how much I have. A lot of donors wanted to know what could they most do to help their sponsored child, but I sort of am hearing you say, it's communicate, it's communicate. those letters. Those letters, communicate. Think about whether your child is in school. Think about whether your sponsored child has access to healthcare. Think about whether your sponsored child is being empowered the way they should be. Whether your child lives in a condition that is safe for them to grow and be the person that they really dream of being and be the person that you write in those communication and encourage them to study to become. It's imperative that sponsors communicate with their sponsored children because I have been there and I know how important it was for me. It is still, I still have those memories lingering somewhere. 